Yep, me again, doing something a little bit different to my usual Jerry Anderson stuff. Um, obviously growing up in the 1960s it wasn't just the Anderson shows that were a big deal for me. Um, Man From Uncle, the Irwin Allen shows, Doctor Who, Star Trek and of course the Adam West Batman show. This is my replica cow. Um, I've had it for uh, probably three years now. Um, when I came into some money I knew that apart from getting stuff done around the house I wanted to treat myself thankfully my partner allowed me to do so uh, I scanned the internet um, I check out a lot of the Batman sites and there's two or three guys that do replica cows um, but to be honest there was only one fella that seemed on the level and really talented enough to pull off the ones that were exactly like the ones Adam wore and that's a fellow called Chuck Williams internationally he was a very very nice bloke to deal with uh, on the level kept me up to speed with our developments were was very honest about the length of time that it would take to make I had no complaints there because I know you can't rush something that looks as good as this there are other guys that make these on the internet um, they're good enough I guess but to be perfectly frank Chuck Williams is regarded as the number one cow maker. Uh, he's kind of in sort of semi-retirement from making these things now, I believe, um, which is a shame because uh, this really is about the closest you'll get to having something like Adam West Wall. Um, it's made with, I believe, again, you have to excuse my ignorance if I'm wrong, certainly made to measurements of an original cow. Perhaps the fiberglass skull cap area inside is taken from a real one uh, or perhaps a stump one I think um, the design is uh, exactly the same as the original Jan Kemp design which in turn followed the lead of the look based on the TV show Let's see if I can film a little bit more from the other angle or maybe I should just turn it around There you go, that's the side. Um, obviously you've got the bib or skirt uh, that goes around the throat and just down onto the chest. I don't wear this. Um, obviously when I first got it I tried it on, but my head isn't big enough to wear it. Um, so I'm kind of rattling around inside, it doesn't look quite right. But a couple of my pals have tried it on and it fits them perfectly and once you've got it on it's strange. Doesn't matter how um, un Adam West like you are you put this on and it seems to give you the look um, as long as you're reasonably slim uh, but you do have to be fairly full around the uh, jaw obviously he was a handsome square jawed kind of bloke that's why he got the part um, really this is one of these ones where you just gotta look at it and take on board anything I'll say if you want there's not really much I can add to it I didn't make it all I did was buy it, uh, but it's one of those dream, one of those dream things. Um, certainly, along with perhaps a, a Captain Kirk outfit <laughs> um, and a robot from Lost in Space or Forbidden Planet, uh, I'd die a happy man. But there you go, uh, a replica Adam West cow by Chuck Williams, fantastically made, uh, very nice guy to deal with. Um, just Adam West 1966 Batman cow replica thanks for checking it out cheers